What's up, Brian Tong here with all that Googleicious. It's everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. The OnePlus 2 is the Android phone with the biggest buzz right now, especially since they continue to announce each new feature one by one. Now, over the past week, we found out more information in addition to its announced Snapdragon 810 processor. The OnePlus 2 phone will bring a USB Type-C connector, making it the first flagship phone to use the reversible connector. They also announced it will have support for a fingerprint sensor that will add convenience and security, and recently leaked photos of what's believed to be the new OnePlus 2 phone from website Phone Arena allegedly show off a design that features an all-metal body with a wooden styled backing and what looks like the fingerprint scanner at the bottom of that silver section on the back. And in another first from OnePlus, the official phone announcement is set for July 27th, and it will take place as a special virtual reality press conference that you'll be able to watch if you have hardware like a VR viewer, like cardboard, or if you own a VR headset setup. Now that's gonna be pretty sweet. Now OnePlus is also working on their own specific cardboard headset for their phones in the future. I know they're manufacturing a lot of hype and attention, but I have to give the OnePlus team some props because they're doing things that no company is doing right now, and that deserves some kudos. That was also one of my favorite granola bars growing up, just in case you really cared. All right, in Samsung news, there's been rumors that a larger screen size version of the Galaxy S6 Edge is coming soon. And now website Sam Mobile reports that Samsung's codename Project Zero Two is for a larger phone expecting to use a 5.4 inch or larger Super AMOLED display with a dual sided curved design and a hexacore Snapdragon 808 processor with physical dimensions at 151 millimeters tall by 73 millimeters wide. That would easily support a screen larger than the current 5.1 inch display and the new device will also use a 3000 milliampere hour battery. It's currently being called the Galaxy S6 Plus. That could change, but an official announcement is coming soon. Also, according to a report from Business Korea, Samsung has found a way to almost double the capacity of its current lithium-ion batteries, making a new silicon cathode material that allows it to support new levels of energy density up to twice that of current batteries. Devices keep on getting slimmer, but we're not seeing any gains in battery tech, and I've been begging for breakthroughs in this area as a priority, and this could be one of them coming down the road, but unfortunately, not anytime soon. Plus, LG is also working on their own battery tech by shipping a new hexagonal battery shape to smartwatch makers. Now check this out, the design allows it to cover more surface area and reportedly improves battery capacity as much as 25% compared to traditional rectangular batteries, according to the Korea Times. So we should maybe get Samsung and LG working together on the ultimate battery, okay? Thanks guys. And in more phone news, the latest version of the Google app was updated to 4.8 last week, but a new teardown has revealed that offline support for OK Google is on the way, which will allow you to use some voice commands without the need for an internet connection. The Android Police article reports that you'll still be able to say things like, OK Google, make a call, play some music, or turn on Wi-Fi without the need for any online connection, and that's pretty sweet. And finally, Google and the Federal Railroad Administration made an announcement this week that Maps will receive an update with audio and visual alerts when users are coming close to a railroad crossing in their route. This comes on the heels of railroad accidents rising 9% this past year. And we're not trying to make light of this, but people are getting into more accidents because they're paying more attention to their phones instead of the road. And now it's our phones that are going to have to tell people to pay attention. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can always email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.